Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Pupsy here, and welcome back to another brand new GTA video. In today's video, we're actually going to be talking about how a trademark of a Rockstar game title has just got update in the recent month or two, and more, so let's get right into today's video. So guess what, guys, I like to apologize for not uploading for the past uh, couple days, maybe three days or so, as I was spending time with family friends over this Memorial Day weekend. So I do apologize that there wasn't any uploads that you were wondering about or just, you know, uh, asking why I wasn't uploading. So I just wanted to put that out there. But anyway, about this trademark, again, it has gotten updated over the past month, as I said. And that game is the Bully franchise. Now, if you don't know the Bully franchise, again, I'm not really sure how to explain it. Because, I nev again, I never played the franchise game at all. But, again, it was actually leaked out or, you know, actually noticed by a uh, leaker on the uh, Reddit site. Again, it was posted on there. And it was actually posted on the United States Patent and the Trademark Office. And, again, here's what it says. It said this page was generated by the TSDR on the 20. Uh, on May 31st, 2021, about at uh, 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. As you can see, you have the U.S. serial number and the U.S. registration number. And you had the application filling date of July 25th, 2013. And the registration date, February 24th, uh, 2015. Again, I think the bully uh, was already out past that date. Again, I could be wrong. Again, the mark type is a trademark. Uh, and again, this status date was April 30th, 2021. So again, that was basically when the trademark was updated. About roughly a month and a month and a half. Again, we are starting to get into June here. And the publication date was July 8th, 2014. And if you want to really believe this, if uh, down in the goods and services, this was for computer and video game program and software and then if you look for the four category it was for entertainment services namely providing online video games and again as you can see the current owners of this is take two interactive software inc and they're located on 110 west 44th street down in new york in the united states that basically gives you proof that is this really is a trademark getting updated now you're probably wondering pup why is rockstar games updating a trademark from bully just like this game has been you know an old franchise trademark game again bully has two different games i think it has the school edition and then the regular edition again i could be wrong but again i haven't played this game at all but again i heard from other people that this is a good game that Rockstar did produce so maybe I do want to try it out someday again we will have to see if that happens or not but again if you do want some bully videos on the channel please let me know down in the comment section down below but again the only thing I can think of is why Rockstar Games is doing that is the trademark just needed updated again Rockstar just making sure that the bullies up to date and everything again when people see this they panic and they automatically think that a new bully game is coming out not necessarily in effect again we will talk about what other ideas rockstar games could be up to but again they're probably just doing a regular maintenance update just to make sure everything is running okay and smoothly now regarding you know the game gta 6 again the game that people are waiting for uh, the AAA game from Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive, again, we heard, uh, you know, a couple years from now, we should be getting a, you know, announcement or anything like that. Could Rockstar actually bring out another bully game to keep us entertained Why GTA 6 is coming out? There is a possibility, and that's why they might have done this trademark, but again, when you get a bully announcement and, you know, people know that a bully game is coming out, they're instantly going to get mad at Rockstar. Again, look at their Instagram, Twitter, uh, all their social media. Everyone is commenting, I want GTA 6. So again, that is a game that people really are waiting for, and they're going to get excited when we do get an announcement. But again, Rockstar could use Bully to, you know, entertain us before the release date. Who knows, but I know Rockstar Games is really going to get the hate 
if they do bring this bully game out. Now, we know the Expanded Enhanced Edition is coming out in November, so I wouldn't see if they did release a new bully until the following year. At the Expanded Enhanced Edition, has its debut, has its month of thing. Again, we could mainly see this until the standalone edition is done. And we're talking about, you know, March or February next year in 2022. So again, we will have to keep an update on this, you know, bully interactions. But again, looks like Rockstar Games and Take Two Interactive have updated their trademark. And this is a real trademark by the U United States patent and trademark office so this is real folks again it looks like take two interactive has filed this so again guys i want to hear from you in the comment section down below would you like a new bully game and did you like the series if you played it again i want it from you in the comment section down below so again guys if you did enjoy today's video a like rating would be super awesome remember to subscribe to the gta pop channel for more videos like this again my name is pup here and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.